welcome back to Dental Bites. Hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, I am going to discuss very 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 important topic with you. That is HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus and AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Two terms which are terrible, you get so horrified. But still, unfortunately in India, don't know what if quick happened to you. Where will you go? How will you treat such patients? How to avoid exposure? So in this video, I am going to discuss all this in detail. I want you guys to be responsible and spread this video. If I am wrong, please search, please do correct me. Also comment down if you know much better than me. And spread this video especially in the colleges because people will come to know from the root itself. Now I am going to make this video in two parts for better understanding. In the first part, here I will discuss about the pre and post exposure prophylaxis. So now, without wasting any further time, let's move on to today's part. Here you basically should understand two terms. They are pre exposure prophylaxis and post exposure prophylaxis. These two terms are very important things to know. Let's talk about each of this one by one. Whenever someone is at the risk of acquiring HIV infection, for example, say you are in a relationship where you are HIV negative and your partner is HIV positive, then this is the situation where you might be benefit from what is called pre-exposure prophylaxis. As a part of pre-exposure prophylaxis, you start taking medication even before you get infected from HIV so that you may prevent this infection from initial step itself. This is purely revolutionary idea which has been available from past 4 to 5 years only and one must keep in mind that there is a method to prescribe this pre-exposure prophylaxis which involves detailed counseling of patient risk factors, patient's risk profile etc kind of thing. And if you are interested in it, my advice for you is go and consult a HIV specialist, explain them your risk factors and take proper counseling for you before starting this prophylaxis. Moving on to the next, the post exposure prophylaxis. This is something I urge all of you, everyone must be aware of this post exposure prophylaxis. What post exposure prophylaxis of HIV refers is following an exposure. For example, if you have an unprotected sex with someone or if you had a needle prick injury by accident or there was a splash of blood and fluids of the infected person into your eyes, what happens then? You'll get HIV immediately? No. What actually happens is when the infected needle got pricked to you, then the virus will enter into the dendritic cells of your skin but it will not reach the lymphatic vessels within 72 hours. This period is called window of opportunity. How will you get safe in this period? What to do, where to go and whom to consult? This is when post exposure prophylaxis comes into the play. You should visit an ART center nearby you. These ART centers are available in every government hospital all over the India. And the good news is it is totally free of cost. But before you go to the hospital, remember you must write everything in detail about when it happened, how it happened, everything must be documented. Don't think that it will be in my brain, I can explain to the doctor. No, it must be documented. First, wash the wound with antiseptic solution and then rush to the government hospital and then ask them for PEP, the post exposure prophylaxis. In this post exposure prophylaxis, you need to take two or three drugs depending upon the area or wound got penetrated or area got infected for 28 continuous days. Remember this for 28 days you must take. And this is called antiretroviral therapy. For a superficial cut you need to take two drugs and for a deep exposure you need to take three drugs. The sooner after exposure you start the PEP the better it is. The window of opportunity is very time sensitive and you need to start it within 72 hours. Then dramatically it reduces the risk of acquiring HIV even after the exposure. A few things you must keep in mind before you start post exposure prophylaxis. Before you start, your HIV status should be tested. So there is a baseline HIV test to be done. The most commonly prescribed drugs all over the world today are Tenofovir, Emtricitabin, Dolutegavir. Of course, other combinations are also possible to use. Once again, many of these details must be discussed in detail with a qualified and experienced HIV specialist 
and the final decision should be taken by your doctor the only thing i would urge you is share this info with your friends family and others who will benefit from this because this window of opportunity is only for 72 hours and final comment this post exposure prophylaxis is very effective and with timely institution there are very high success rates so once again the sooner you start pep the better for you and finally if you feel this video informative like share with your friends and family and wait for the second and most important part of this video and if you are not yet subscribed my channel do it now thank you so much for listening from your doctor ramya the second part it is exclusively for doctors in that i am going to tell you how to find a hiv patient among the several patients in your op what are all the common manifestations you can observe in that patient how to sterilize your instruments to kill the hiv virus and what are all the precautions you need to take while treating that patient